Hey everybody, and welcome back to uh, another episode. Uh, and this is my skin, which I realised uh, I hadn't shown at all, uh, or at least uh, not um, not on purpose. You might have seen it in the uh, inventory screen, but uh, th this is it. Uh, Link from um, Legends of Zelda, one of my favourite games, um, growing up as a kid, and uh, and still is. Um, saw this uh, saw this skin on one of the websites, and uh, and really really liked it. Uh, so anyway, yeah, today's episode, um, I sort of hesitate to call this a let's play, but I guess that's kind of what it is, uh, although I don't know how uh, how often I'm going to be bringing these out. Um, today's episode, I'm going to go and try and find um, a NPC village. Uh, I've got a rough idea where one is, where I sort of, sort of came across one uh, kind of accidentally to, to a degree. I was just doing a bit of exploring, trying to find a stronghold. Um, Quite, oh, quite, quite a while ago now, and I, uh, I came across it by accident. And uh, I had a load of obsidian on me, and I decided uh, what I was going to do if I found one was to make a portal. Um, but I never did um, because I think once I got there, I realised there wasn't much use for it. Um, but now, obviously, with the uh, villager training coming in in 1.3, uh, it would be useful to have a, uh, a village nearby. So, uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, so yeah, but just to begin with, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to enchant my bow, and I've got another pickaxe, because you can see my pickaxe is getting a bit low here, or oh, that one is at least, so I've got another one there. I'll put my armour back on, uh, now you see my skin. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to enchant the bow and the pickaxe. Um, after TNT gate, where I lost uh, 39 levels, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, go back and check one of my videos. It's a TNT tips video, um, about 5 minutes in from the end of that. Um, yeah. That was a uh, that was an interesting episode, but anyway, I managed to get my uh, my um, levels back, and I did that. Uh, when did I do that? Uh, just a little while ago, I um, got an XP farm, and I managed to get it up. So yeah, I'm going to put a level. I think I'll go for about level 20 on the bow if I can find one. Um, 19. That looks good. So what have we got? Ooh, power two. It's all right, I suppose. Not too bad. And uh, 29 levels, hopefully, on the pickaxe. Let's see what we get. Uh, 29. Be something good, be something good, be something good, be something good. Efficiency 2, that's not too bad. It's a replacement. Replacement 1. Quite happy with that, that's not too bad. Uh, yeah, so um, I think the village is roughly over that way. Uh, if you can see where, uh, where the arrow is pointing there. It's sort of uh, across the way. I'm Pointing and upwards, sort of upwards that way, uh, and that's where we're going to head to. Um, so, like I said, uh, the sun is just going down, which is quite annoying. Um, <coughs> so, yeah, like I was saying, um, probably going to keep the recording running, but I will probably just throw in uh, highlights of stuff because uh, obviously it'd be a bit boring just to watch me run across half the map um, trying to find a little tiny village. Um, so yeah, I will. Uh, I'll probably cut the video here and get back to you guys in a bit. Oh, damn Enderman! So here we are, just coming up to the uh, opposite side. Um, annoyingly, the sun's going down. So what I'm going to do is leave the boat there or break it uh, like that, uh, which I totally intended to do. I was just uh, just trolling on you guys for a bit there. Uh, yeah, right. Um, so I've brought a bed with me, I hope. Yep, cool. Um, what I'll quickly do is show you uh, what I tend to do if I need to uh, need to sleep somewhere really quickly. Um, in case uh, you guys might not know this, I'm sure probably you do. Uh, it's pretty common sense, but uh, I will show you anyway. So I tend to uh, pillow up like so. Puts you out of reach of the mobs and stuff. Um, I do three blocks out. I might actually do four here. Get your bed, place it down, and put a torch, torch down it, and uh, jobs are good. Un. And hopefully we shouldn't get any uh, any mobs spawning around us, which would be quite handy. Nah, cool. Get the bed back. Get rid of this, and we are good to move. So yeah, just a little tip there. Uh, I don't know if you guys knew that or not. I'm sure you probably did. Nothing new, but. Uh, that's what I tend to do anyway. So, uh, right. Heading back off in this sort of direction. 
Oh, I remember this is a uh, this is something actually. I remember doing this ages ago when I first when I first came onto this world. Um, I found a spawner half covered, and uh, I've always been meaning to do something with it, but I've never never gone back to it. Let's have a look. It's still there. Yeah, got my crafting bench down there. Um, that might be something I, I might do in the future actually, as a, as another let's play. You know, where uh, there's kind of something to do there. Um, I think it was skeleton as well, so that could be quite handy actually. Maybe uh, maybe make some kind of XP farm out of it. Um, but yeah, as ages ago, I, I found this place. And uh, just have take take a closer look. Uh, again, completely uh, completely intended that. Um, just sort of show you guys around. God damn it. <laughs> Right, let's get out of here. And while I remember, let's drink that speed potion because that could be useful. Uh, right, in fact, I'll keep that. Great stuff, yeah, full speed. Right, yeah, so uh, I'll keep heading in this direction and I will uh, give you guys some highlights if, uh, if anything good happens or when I reach the village. Catch you guys in a bit. Whoa, what's this? This looks interesting. Bit of a, bit of a ravine going on there. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I remember finding this village before, and I got a feeling I had to go through some hills, and it was uh, it was in another desert biome, but um, it was ages ago I found it, and man, I wish I'd made a portal there. But uh, I've got some obsidian with me to make another portal, uh, so that's kind of my plan. In fact, I'm sure I've been around here before. I don't know. Um, so yeah, my plan is to uh, to make a, uh, a portal and then link that to uh, my other portal that I think you guys might have seen in another video. Uh, I probably will upload it before this one, which uh, is when I was messing around making my portal room look a little bit cooler. So finally, uh, finally made the other side of this bloody, uh, bloody ocean. Absolutely massive, absolutely ginormous ocean that was. Uh, so yeah, all right. And it doesn't look like it's actually finished yet, which is brilliant. Yeah, one of my biggest concerns at the moment is uh, if I die, uh, which I really hope I don't. But if I die, I. I think I'm probably going to lose all this stuff which I've got on me, which should be a real fucking pain in the ass. Um, but going by the TNT video, that's always something <laughs> that could happen. I would never rule that out. Um, hopefully it won't, because uh, I, the reason I think I might lose all my stuff is because I think you're. Uh, that's weird. A bit of a lightning glitch there. Um, yeah, I think if you drop your stuff. Or uh, any dropped items have five minutes before they expire, and I'm pretty sure I'm more than five minutes away from my base, even uh, even if I was running on speed, speed two or speed uh, the extended speed. I think uh, I think it will take me longer than five minutes to get here, which is uh, a real nightmare. Uh, okay, eat some food. <laughs> One hell of a hell. Bloody hell. Uh, another trick that I sometimes use, which I'll try and show you guys, is uh, that I will, uh, for, for sleeping I mean, um, I will sometimes try and get into a tree, uh, like so. Uh, I'm going to get away from this one just because I think mobs might be able to get around here. Uh, so I'm not going to take any chances to try and get across this tree here. Um, if I can. Come on. So yeah, I'll go on a 
on top of the tree, just lay out a few uh, a few blocks like that. Put down a few torches, like so. And get the bed out. And uh, this has always seemed to work pretty well for me. Uh, hopefully we won't get any mobs waking us up in the night because that'd be a pain. Yeah, cool. Right, and away we go. Right, onwards. So I think, if I'm right, I think the uh, the village is somewhere around here. But we'll soon find out. I'm sure I'm probably wrong. Uh, bloody Endermen. I tell you what, they wind me right up. Let's, uh, let's treat ourselves to a, uh, a little speed potion. Still no sign of this village though, which is a little bit, a little bit worrying. This might be a different village. Yeah, because it didn't have a. Uh, I don't think it had a blacksmith in it. But great stuff. Glad, glad I found this. I'm getting a little bit worried. Yeah, it doesn't look like I have. Uh, I have been here before. But I will help myself. Help myself to your uh, your bread, fella. So uh, I've had a little nose around the village and I can't see an iron golem anywhere. So uh, I don't think it's quite that big. But um, I have got a few plans to... Because uh, uh, the other village that I found was quite small as well. Uh, so I had an idea that I might maybe in the future build a few more houses uh, in the hope that I can I can get a bit of a bigger uh, bigger community together and get, a, get an iron golem or two. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'm going to place the portal somewhere. I'm not quite sure where yet. I kind of like the idea of having it on top of this uh, this house right here. But um, that could be a little bit of a pain. Um, yeah, we'll see. I'll have a little wonder. We'll see. Right, so I think I'm going to place it um, place it just around here somewhere. Um, I was thinking of putting it a little bit out of town, but um, that would be a bit of a pain in terms of uh, if I came here in the night, it would be a little bit a little bit dicey with the mobs and stuff. So I'd rather have it inside the town, um, just because it would be easier if I if I come at night. So yeah, I think I'll place it, place it over here somewhere, um, and hopefully I can use this land to build out, build some more, more places. <coughs> Get out of here. Come on. Right. Two, three. One, two, three. Three. Four. Sweet. Um, yeah, like I was saying, I, uh, I haven't taken the coordinates of my other portal. I've got two portals in the nether. Um, I haven't taken the coordinates of them, which is pretty stupid, really. Because I'm probably going to have to... <laughs> Run back and try and find them, but at least I got my uh, at least I got my compass, so uh, at least I can find it from here. But uh, right, let's see how this takes us. Ah, so this is my other portal, which is a bit of a pain actually. Let's see where we go to from here. This is a portal that should take me to my stronghold. Yeah, which it does. Um, which is fine. Uh, let's get rid of those. But 
I would like it to launch that village, really. Yeah, so like I was saying, this is, um, this will take me back to, oh, so there's a ghast over there. This takes me back to my, um, my portal, which goes to my house. That's quite cool. So at least I can get home fairly easily. Um, my only concern is that I might not be able to get to that village again, which would be a pain. So, so yeah, I'll, uh, I'll go and read up on the wiki and see what I can do about that. Otherwise, it might be <laughs> another episode. So, back at the base here. Um, while I'm here, I might as well grab a few nether walks uh, for my potions. Right, so I'm back home at least. That's uh, that wasn't too bad. Um, and I'm gonna go and have a read on the wiki and uh, and see what's what with the old portals. I've got a terrible feeling that um, I'm gonna have to go further afield for me uh, for me village, which is gonna be a pain in the ass. But um, yeah, I will go and read the wiki and I will catch up with you guys in a second. Alright guys, I'm back. Um, I've read up on the portals and it does seem like this could be a bit of a problem. Um, which is... Uh, <coughs> Let's just get rid of this guy. Right, uh, yeah, so anyway. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a problem. Um, what it is, is that uh, if you have one portal in the nether and another one in the overworld, um, the two closest ones will link together. So if you have multiples, um, that rule still applies, so it will still link the closest ones together. Um, there's a possible, I thought of a possible way around it, um, but what I need to do is go back to that portal that I was at, which is the one in the nether, uh, see what the coordinates are, and I think if I move over 128 blocks away from it and try to make another obsidian portal, I think I might be alright, but uh, this is um, this is very much a maybe, and I don't think it'll probably work. But we will see. I will have a go all the same, and uh, we'll find out anyway. So I will uh, I'll test it, and I'll be back with you guys in a bit. So yeah, this is more or less uh, <laughs> desperate luck right now, but. Um, I will take the coordinates of the portal I've got at the moment that links to the stronghold and uh, hopefully by stroke of sheer luck I might be able to uh, link it link it back to my um, back to the village but we'll see alright guys uh, I've decided to cut the episode here because um, the, uh, the portal is going to take quite a bit of tweaking yet. Um, there's no way I'm going to get it right first time. Um, I'm going to have to. Uh, I'm going to have to do quite a bit of tweaking. Oh shit! <coughs> Don't want to be near that. Um, yeah, so it's going to take quite a bit of tweaking, and definitely going to get it right first time. So uh, rather than make you guys endure all that, I will. Uh, I'll cut the episode here. And uh, yeah, if you're uh, if you're enjoying it. Please, um, please leave a like or a comment, uh, or if you're really, really, really enjoying it, please subscribe. Um, that'd be really handy. It'd really help me out. Um, you know, uh, it's nice, nice to see uh, to see people enjoying what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, so uh, so please subscribe if you do like it. Um, so yeah, hopefully, if I do manage to figure this out, I will uh, put up another video and uh, explain how I managed to do it and that sort of stuff. Um, basically, what I think I'm going to do is just play about with the coordinates. This one's obviously centralised on, on the stronghold. Uh, I'm going to try and move it 128, 128 blocks and see where that takes me. But uh, That's going to take quite a while. So yeah, thanks guys, cheers for watching and catch you in the next episode.